your only one, Israel's creator and king. I am the Lord who opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. I call forth the mighty army of Egypt with all its chariots and horses. I drew them beneath the waves and they drowned. Their lives snuffed out like a smoldering candlewick. But forget all that. Forget all that. Because it is nothing compared to what I'm about to do. The Lord is saying to us this morning. That's why, you know, what we see happening in the world, you know, the, the world order right now, you know, the powers stressing against each other, the pressures from every corner, you know, financial security, or food poverty, or sickness, or illness. You know, it seems to be the order of the day in the world that we live in right now. For young people, you might not understand so much, but when you get to a certain age, you know, you begin to take note of things like this. You know, but the Lord God Almighty is saying to us this morning, He said, He's telling us, you know, for, but forget all that, because it is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. Amen? God is encouraging us this morning, for I'm about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I have already begun. Do you not see it? So this morning I'm asking us, what do you see? Because what you see is what you get. What do you see? Do you see all the trouble or the traumas? Do you see all the difficulties or the challenges? Do you see that? Or do you see the mighty move of God? Do you see the blessings of God? Do you see that you know, even in all these things, our God is trustworthy? Even in all these things, he is doing something new. He's making a way. He said, For I'm about to do, he's saying again, I'm about to do something new. See, I've already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. The wild animals in the field will thank me. The jackals and the house, too, they will thank me for giving them water in the desert. Yes, I will make rivers in the dry wasteland so my chosen people can be refreshed. So God is saying even in all of this, in the midst of even this all over the place, that he's going to make a river in the dry wasteland so that we can be refreshed. You know, how can we be refreshed in the midst of trouble? What does that even look like if we were to ask ourselves? What does refreshing mean? What does it look like? For I suppose for each individual is going to be different. But the Lord is saying to us, whatever it is, when we are in, you know, mourning, is going to comfort us. When we feel that we don't feel held, when we think that God is not with us, He said, Feel me, I'm near you, I'm with you, I'm holding you, I will refresh you, I will comfort you. That's what the Lord is saying to us. He said, I have made Israel for myself. We are the Israelites. We are not the state of Israel there. Anyone that believe in the Lord Jesus, who have called upon him, who have been we that we were adopted because he adopted us and he gave himself for us. So we are the Israel. So he's saying, I have chosen you, you know, for myself and that we will, you know, we will someday honor him before the whole world. Hallelujah. And the second part is in Isaiah 65. And he's reiterating this again. He said, look, I'm creating new heavens and a new earth. So no matter what we go through here, the Lord is creating the new heavens. He's creating something new for us. Even here on earth, it's our new heaven where God is going to comfort us. A new earth. And no one will even think about the old ones anymore. We won't think about all this trauma that has gone. We won't even remember them anymore because if God himself will take those pain. You know, it's like when a, a, a woman is in labor, when she's traveling to give birth, you know, it's a painful time. But when the birth is complete, when the baby is here, she remembers the pains no more. And that's what God is saying to us. No matter all this that is struggling. So I'm saying to you, my brothers and sisters, no matter what you're going through right now, and you feel that where are you, God? Where are you right now? But God is saying to us, you know, that we will not even think about those things anymore. Because he said, he said be glad. Rejoice forever in my creation because he has created everything for us and look i will create jerusalem as a place of happiness so god is going to give us everywhere that we go will be a place of happiness for us our people will be a source of joy we 
as the Israelites in New Jerusalem, we will be a source of joy even to unbelievers, even to those who are going through things, who do not trust in God or believe in God. He said, we will be a source of joy for them. I will rejoice. God said he will rejoice over us. He will delight in us when we do these things. He will rejoice when we be a source of joy for other people. When we, be, when we Even when we are standing, that no matter what we're seeing around us, we are standing, we are seeing the faithfulness of God, the goodness of God. We are seeing something different that the world is saying. God is saying to us that he will rejoice over us and he delight in us. And the sound of weeping and crying will no longer be heard in our midst, in our family, in our churches, in our community. The sounds of weeping and crying will no longer be heard. No longer will babies die when they are only a few days old. No longer will adults die before they have even lived a full life. Before they have even lived a full life. And he said only the cause will die that young. In those days, people will live in the house that they build. No longer will people be considered old at 100 years old. Isn't that amazing? All these promises of God. You will look at it. When I was reading at the beginning of the week, I was like, wow. Because when you read down, it says that we will grow old. We will grow as old as a tree. And I know that trees, sometimes they can be a thousand years old, three thousand years old. And to say that the youngest among us will be only 100 years old, and that we will grow as old as a tree. And that was very encouraging. And to also say that the Lord said, it's doing a new thing. So for me not to keep, because I'm talking to myself too, as I'm talking to you now, I might not look it. I'm a awful warrior too. I worry a lot about things. You know, people might not see it, I might look close and composed. I do worry a lot about things. But so when I, but when I read the word of the Lord, it comforts me, it calms my soul. You know, at the time that I read it, it calms my soul. So, and this is at the promise of God that I'm encouraging us this morning to let it always speak to us. No matter what we're going through, there is a solution, there is an answer for everything that we go through in life if we can only trust in God. Amen, hallelujah. Let's stand up and pray. Let's stand up and pray. So let us thank the Lord for a new day, a new week, a new life. It is a privilege to be here, to be alive and to be praising God. Father, we thank you. Let's pray in your own understanding. The young ones also pray. Because your prayer is like a, a, you're saving money in the bank that you'll find there later. So don't be looking and talking and smiling and doing nothing. When we all pray. Send your prayer to your future. I'm encouraging Pastor always said that to you. Bank your prayers now and send it to your future. It will stand for you. Father, Lord, we thank you. Almighty God, we are grateful to you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, Father, that we can come into your presence knowing that you are here with us, knowing that you are always for us. You said you are our defense. You are our rescue. You are our redeemer. Father, we thank you that we have such a wonderful and beautiful Father in you. Thank you for the gift of life this morning. Father, we give all of that life to you to worship you and praise you, to honor you and lift your holy name thank you for choosing us father you said you will rejoice over us you said you will delight in us father we thank you lord for this you know unmerited grace unmerited favor that we did not earn that we did not do nothing for and yet you have loved us from the beginning of the earth father we thank you for everything that you have prepared in us even before we were born you said i have created you to do good works even long before you were born father we thank you what we are asking you this morning to, you know, to help us to always constantly and with conscious mind walk in your goodness, to always trust in you that your promises for us, they are intact, they are yes and amen. Because you are not a man that you should lie and you will never lie to us. The Lion of Judah, you will never lie to us. You wouldn't lie. You are too faithful to lie. You are too faithful to disappoint. You are too faithful to let us down. You are too faithful to let us go. Father, we thank you. Our creator, we thank you. Thank you for everything that you have created for us. Thank you for everything you've created in us. Thank you for your character that is in us. Father, Lord, we acknowledge this morning that, yes, we, 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 are, we are just flesh. We are dust and we sin. We sin. We, we, we miss it sometimes way beyond even our own understanding that we can't even understand. Why do we do these things? But God, your grace is sufficient for us. 
your mercy is always available for us. Therefore, Father, we come before you this morning as sinners. We say, Lord, forgive us our sins and our iniquity. Forgive us for every transgression, every purpose sin, every known sin, every unknown sin. Father, we ask that you forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we honor you. Help us to trust you and not in ourselves. Help us to trust you and not in things that we can see, but we believe in you, in the invisible God, and to believe in your power and might that is available, working in us. Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory. Take all the glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray this morning. Let us pray for every single soul that is here and every single soul that, that we have talked to this week, you know, that the Lord God Almighty, by the power of his Holy Spirit, you know, we continue to speak to us and we speak to those people. What we know there are people who are seeking God. People are seeking. People are seeking for answers. They might be seeking for it in the wrong place. But God, you said you in a heart that calls you will never, you will never turn back. So let us pray that God, let the Holy Spirit speak, you know, let the Holy Spirit walk on the you know, on the heart of the people that we have spoken to, that we have told about the love of God, that we have told about, you know, Christ, you know, that the power that is in Christ, the amazing grace, his saving grace, you know, that he has he, he resurrected for us, that he went on the cross and he died because he loved us, because he doesn't want us to die and go to hell. So let us begin to pray and the Lord, we need more souls in the kingdom. We don't want anybody to go to hell because we know that hell is real and it's for only the, you know, the sons of prediction, the sons of disobedience, but not for those who the Lord of loves. Father, Lord, we, we, we ask you this morning, sweet Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything by ourselves. Even Jesus couldn't do anything without the Holy Spirit. You know, he's the Holy Spirit that empowers. He's the Holy Spirit that gives grace. He's the Holy Spirit that lifts. He's the Holy Spirit that strengthens and supports. Therefore, Holy Spirit, we ask you this morning, we invite you in the house. We invite you into our heart. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, to, you know, to walk upon the heart of everyone that we have spoken to. Rather not this week, even maybe in the, in the months past, that we know that they are suffering and they need you. That we know, Father God, they are asking, God, where are you? Where are you? Lord, we ask you, Holy Spirit. You, there's nothing you can do for you transcend time. You are beyond time. You are beyond you know, nations. You are beyond you know, space. There's no way that you cannot reach. There's no way that you cannot reach. Therefore, Holy Spirit, we ask you this day to reach the heart of those ones who God who are crying out for you. Those who are sick, who are suffering, who, who are in turmoil, who are in, you know, being tormented by the spirit of the evil one. Father, we ask you, just like Jesus prayed for us, Father, we pray for those ones too this morning, that you will give them your peace, your peace that transcends all understanding, that you will speak to their heart, that they will hear you clearly, Father God, that they belong to you, that they are loved, that you are with them, that you, you will never leave them, you will never forsake them that you are there to help them, that you are here to help us when we cry out to you. Lord, help us. Father, we, 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 we are saying this morning that you are our salvation and you are becoming our salvation. You are our strength. You are our shield. Father, we are saying you are our fortress. In you alone and alone we will trust from everlasting to everlasting. Father, we thank you. Our good redeemer, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let us pray, you know, that the Lord should bless, you know, our storehouse. That the Lord, you know, because it's when you have that you be generous to give to other people, really. It's when you have. So, if we have, you know, we won't be worried about, you know, it diminishing. Because how can you diminish? <laughs> when God said, you know, all the riches belongs to him. All the riches, all the glory, all the power, all the honor, all the adoration belongs to him. So let us ask the Lord to bless the work of our hand. Whatever it is that we are doing, let us commit it to the Lord because he can increase it if we commit it to the Lord. It doesn't matter if you are a weekly earner, monthly earner, a businesswoman, or you're a student as well, that the Lord will lead you into direction, you know, that you don't have to struggle or suffer when you eventually finish your study, that the Lord will guide you into the area that you should go so that you can find joy in the things that you do because that's what God wants us to do to find joy in the things that we do hallelujah father lord we bring her work before you we commit it to you oh god you are the one who has given us in the first place father lord we ask you to bless the work of our hands we ask you oh god you say you will never lack anything in our store father god we ask you to bless our store homes oh god bless our store bless our account father lord
Lord. You know, Father, we pray for financial, you know, freedom to be able to, to have and to be able to be a blessing to all that, to bless all that, oh God. Father, we pray in the, our workplaces. We pray for our, you know, we pray for our colleagues, oh God. We pray, oh God, that our workplace will be a place of joy and not a place of sorrow. That our workplace will be a place that, you know, there's no stress but your presence is with us every day that when we go in every day it won't be a, you know a hard grow where we'll be groaning and mourning and you know wind rain and wind spring and you know God that we will gladly go because we know that you have taken that territory for us and that we are going to impact them in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God we send you ahead of us this week oh God you know make our workplace you know prepare it oh God as you've said in your word that you are making a river in the dry land Father we ask you to give us our work environment for you Jesus Jesus. We are asking you to prepare our work environment. Let it be, you know, a, a river for you. Let, even though it might be a desert place where there's nothing grow, but Father, let it be a place where there's, you know, that it's going to flourish because your presence is in there in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, oh God, for our student, for students among us, say God. Father, we pray, oh God, that you help them, oh God, help them to recall, give them the, you know, the wisdom, the wisdom that you gave Solomon, the wisdom that you gave Shadrach, Mishael, and Abednego, so they can try in their study in the mighty name of Jesus and above all father we ask you oh God let justice right justice because we are God of justice let justice reign in our heart let peace reign in our heart let faithfulness reign in our heart let us be triumphant in every single area of our life father we thank you we give you all the glory for we know that you hear us as we pray to you in Jesus Christ's name we've prayed amen hallelujah let's pray for the you know the fellowship this morning Let's praise, you know, for the praise that as we praise, you know, may chains begin to drop, may shackles begin to break, and when we hear the word of God, may his word reach into places that even we cannot imagine in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. We bring our service before you this morning. Lord, we are not going ahead of you. We lay everything here at the altar. As we worship you, Father, let our worship and praise, let them be a sweet smelling incense into your nose, your Almighty God. As we worship, let the angels in heaven come and worship with us, Almighty God. Let our praises and our worship come. Father, let them reach out to you like a sweet smelling sense of incense in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, send your word this morning. For every heart, send your word, Almighty God. For every heart that is here, that is willing, open to receive, Father, send your word. Just one word. That's what we all need from you this morning. Father, Father, we thank you for your word, for your infallible word. We thank you for your word. You know, that is a seed to the sower and a bread to the heater. Father, we thank you for your word. Fill us, refreshing us, renewing us. Father God, we thank you. We worship you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. And let the choir come up and lead us in times of peace. Hallelujah. Please praise the Lord this morning. Worship the Lord. God all the glory this morning. We thank you, Lord, for being a great, great Father. We thank you, O oh Lord, for your blessings. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love this morning, God. to receive all the praise for you are lord you're the air that i breathe the song that i sing you're the lover of my soul mighty god mighty god hallowed be thy name faithful god you are worthy to receive all the praise for you are lord you're the air that i breathe the song that i sing you're the lover of my soul. Oh, you, there is no impossibility. 
you I can move the mountains Whatever you say Will surely come to pass At the mention of your name Every knee will bow Oh, unchangeable, unchangeable God. Reliable, reliable God. Only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do what no man can do. Everybody say, unchangeable, unchangeable God. Reliable, reliable God. Only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do what no man can do. There is nothing, absolutely nothing. Oh, there is nothing impossible unto you. You gave sight to the blind. No one can deny your greatness and your power. Make me just a wonder. Wonder-working God, I can see you everywhere, touching everyone, removing every pain, yeah. Oh, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, oh, there is nothing impossible unto you. Oh, unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God, only He can do, only you can do, one no man can do, one no man can do. Unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do what no man can do. Everybody say unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do, only you can do what no man can do. What no man can do. Unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do what no man can do. Give him all the praise this morning. Everybody say, unchangeable, 
Everybody say unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do, only you can do. What no man can do, what no man can do. Unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do, what no man can do. Oh, unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do, only you can do. What no man can do, what no man. Unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable, reliable God. Only you can do what no man can do. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah. We will continue to worship God. in this place today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. down before your throne where the mighty hand and race unto you alone there is no greater God than our King there is no Creation cries your name. 